as a solo business owner, often referred to as a solopreneur, regardless of what industry you're in, whether you're in the HVAC business or bathroom remodeler, kitchen remodeler, other subcontractor, even if you're a chiropractor or a cosmetic surgeon, you have several distinct advantages over other businesses with multiple employees and multiple partners. You get to call the shots. You get to say how you do business, when you do business, who you do business with. That is extremely liberating, and I totally get it. But you also have inherent problems, especially if you want to grow your business or retire at some point. Let me ask you this question. How long can you continue doing the work that you're doing? How long can you physically and even mentally continue doing the work that you're doing today? How long are you willing to do that work? That's another question. And as long as you are a solopreneur, you are limiting yourself as far as retirement options or selling your business because your business is you. You are your business. Your clients and your customers like, know, and trust you. And until you start bringing in other employees and you start bringing in other subcontractors or other people to work within your business and start setting your business up for a proper transition for you to retire someday with income or even grow your business to a franchise or a licensing type of model, then you are always going to be your business. You're not going to be able to take extended vacations. You already know this. When you step away from the business, the business stops no matter what industry you're in. I have an opportunity to talk to business owners on a regular basis who are in this situation and they are concerned and they don't know how to grow their business properly. So let me show you just a few things to give you some ideas of what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go through this whole presentation. What I'm going to do is show you the problem. And the problem as I see it is that this is part of your playing field. Knowing your playing field gives you a distinct advantage over your competition, rather you're a solopreneur or a business with multiple employees and partners. Regardless of what your business model is, every single business model must have a strong foundation with policies and everything else in place on hiring, sales, marketing, firing, the whole bit. Now, then you have to know how to generate leads, and there's multiple strategies on how to generate leads. Notice there's other, and almost all these there's multiple strategies within each one of these areas. Once you get a lead, then you have to know how to convert that lead to a paying customer. And then how many times can you serve that one client or customer? Those are transactions, multiple transactions. So you can extend the life expectancy and the, uh, of each customer and extend the dollar figure of each customer. What is that value of each customer? Now, transactions generate revenue. Listen to this. Write this down. Revenue feeds your ego. Profits feed your family. So how do you convert revenue into profits? Listen, there are multiple ways to do this. You see all those strategies there. I don't want to overwhelm you and make you think that you have to implement all of those strategies because you don't. But how do you know what strategies to implement? Well, that's where my assessment comes into place because I have the, cap I have the ability to sit down with you as a business owner and do an assessment on your business. We have 20 plus years of experience in innovation with over 100 different industries and in 24 different countries for that matter. And we've put all of that into our profit acceleration software. And what it does for us is it gives us the opportunity to show you where you are in your marketing and your business strategies, your financials, the whole bit. Then we look at the desired destination of where you want to go because it's different if you want to sell your business at some point or if you want to license your business, franchise your business, or just hand it down to your family, to your, to your kids. And then we're going to build a roadmap that shows you step by step by step over the course of 12 months to 10, 20 years on how to properly build your business up so that it's in a great position for you to do whatever it is that you want to do. But you first have to know where you're at, then where you want to go. And from that, we can knock down, the, identify the roadblocks between where you are and where you want to be, knock down those roadblocks, put strategies in place to overcome each one of those, and then you're on your way. So being a solopreneur is very liberating. 
but how long do you want to do that? And how do you want to walk away from your business? Do you want to walk away with income? Then if you do, get back with me, get back with whoever forwarded this video to you so that they can set you up or I can set you up on my calendar and we can take do an assessment of your business and find out where you're at, where you want to be, and then we'll build a roadmap on how to get there. All right, I'm Ole Carmichael. I'm a business and marketing strategist, absolutely obsessed with what I do because you as a business owner are the backbone of our economy. And I want to ensure that you have the best chances to serve your clients and customers and live the life that you want to live as a business owner. I'll talk to you soon.